first you were getting mad In these streets, but now you don't get mad Cause now you know me And stuck up my cheese Girl, ain't no need to worry Cause now you got me At first you would get mad Cause I was fuck around in these streets But now you don't get mad Cause now you know me I'm trying to get this bag That stack up my cheese Girl, ain't no need to worry Cause now you got me You know how I do You know I got you Girl, ain't no need to worry You know you my boo You know how I do You know I got you Girl, ain't no need to worry Yo, what's good, y'all? Y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Big Grizz. We back. We got a different type of video room today. Last night, I was, um, you know what I'm saying? I had winded down, you know what I'm saying? Ate dinner and everything. I've been watching this show. Um, It's called The Hype on HBO Max. And I had um, was watching it. I had tagged two people and whatnot. And <clears throat> somebody, somebody, I guess, had seen me story and then said, they wanted me to react to like the season finale because I definitely got something to say about it because I got an opinion. I definitely got something I want to say. So shout out to this person. Honestly, I wasn't going to react to how I felt about because I already watched season one. So I wasn't going to react to season two. Really, like I wasn't thinking about doing no video until I went on this her page. Seeing she got six sixty four point six K followers shout out to uh sasha lance i've never you know what i'm saying no offense just like she don't know who i am i don't know who she is you know what i'm saying but she got 64k so i'm like i mean why not you know what i'm saying plus i got something to say like i said i, I guess i got my some opinions i got some opinions about it so uh we're just gonna go ahead and talk about it if you're new to this channel you know what I'm saying? This is Grizzly Reactions. Grizzly Reacts. We do reactions. We do vlogs. We do travel vlogs. We do all types of videos on here. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything. So, I feel like you should subscribe if you're new to the cave. Welcome. You know what I'm saying? Comment what you want to see. I'm doing every... I do everything. You know, stream reviews. Like I said, we're not just one type of YouTube channel. We do everything. But mainly, we do do reactions. I do got a gaming channel and a sneaker channel. The gaming channel, I just, you know, I got a P5. I place gaming videos. Snigger channel, I'm a vivid shoe collector. I got hella shoes, so I just show my purchases, what I grab, and I also um, talk about sneaker releases. So go subscribe. But um, we're about to get into this once again. Shout out to Sarah, Sasha Lance. I'm sorry, shout out to Sasha Lance. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> And um, I'm going to tell y'all, let's hop into it. First, obviously, we're going to talk about um, season one. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about season one. Um, season one was crazy. I love season one. And what I really loved about this show, it's really got me thinking about fashion. If y'all don't know, I sell merch hoodies. Like, I got the Grizzly. Like, my logo is on a hoodie. This has me thinking about elevating that and going above that because of this show. Like, this show really opened up a piece of my mind. Like, the first season, I loved the first season. I actually, I ain't going to cap the dude who won Justin. I knew he was going to win. Like, I had a feeling he was going to win. I liked every everything he put out I fucked with like everything all the hoodies like every hoodie he put out was crazy the one hoodie that he made out of the rug I think was stupid the uh, blue and white one that was crazy like everything he made I would have wore like and it's actually ironic I'm trying to get something off of him he has a website but the stuff that he has on his website unfortunately Grizz cannot fit right now yes we are in the gym yes we getting down but I'm not uh, a medium or a small yet unfortunately we still in the XL range you know what I'm saying I'm just about to try to get that to large right now you know what I mean so so yeah he don't got no like XL or larges right now so I'm gonna have to wait until he actually drops something but I actually knew he was gonna win like I really wanted him to win out of everybody all the designers I think him him Kai was 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 all right like I, he was, his was his. He was okay, but his his stuff was more like I don't know, like biker wear. I see, like I don't know. It just like that's what I got from it. Like nothing that I would wear. It wasn't really like kind of street wear to me. I ain't gonna lie. I look more like some runway shit. But yeah, season one was cool. Like it was fire. 
I like the um who else I like from season one. The other the girl I should have got their names together, but I'm sorry I didn't. This is real in real life. The other the black girl um, that was that she got the cosign. She got a cosign as she came back in season two. Y'all should already know who I'm talking about if you watch the show. Her shit was fire. She was making some crazy stuff too. I did like the one shorty that was doing the bad dad and stuff, but they vividly told her not to do that shit. Everybody told her that even Wiz and then it was like, all right, shorty, you gonna do it anyway. You gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. So um she was cool, but y'all you know saying I was messing with the bandana, but I understood what they were saying. It's LA, bro. You cannot do that out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I wear red, I love red. But guess what? When I go to LA, I probably not go to wear red, blue, none of that. I'll be wearing like brown, tan and shit like that. I don't know, bro, cause I ain't risking it, you hear me? But anyway, yeah, season one was a vibe. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I want to give y'all season one? Because this is going to be uh, both wrap up for both of them, because I might as well talk about both of them. But yeah, man, hopefully Justin drops some new stuff, because I'm definitely trying to cop and support. Like, I, like this really, this show really like got me wanting to dive deeper in just in the streetwear and the fashion and just everything. Like, down to the quality of my stuff now. Like, it's it, it, like... I don't know, like, this show was really, a, and it's just a really good show, too, like, the challenges and just seeing them actually work and cutting thread and stuff like that. I took a sewing class in ninth grade, but it was only because this girl that I liked, I mean, she ended up being my girl, but, like, it was worth it, but I was sewing. I, I took a sewing class, and I actually liked it, but I stopped. Like, I low-key now wish I kept going, because, like, sewing is hard as fuck. So, like, I down there wish I kept going, because who knows, by now I'd be shady. Oh, bro. Oh. Man, this show is so good, though. Like, it, it's really opening up different layers of my brain that I didn't know was there. It's definitely fire. But I don't think y'all want to hear that shit. Moving on to season two. I like season two. Season two, I don't know. It felt, I don't know. I don't know. Like season one, I feel like if you had to ask me which one was my favorite, I would say season one. Like if if I had to pick one out of two, I'm gonna say season one just because it just I don't know. It was just way more crazier. They was I don't know. It seemed like season two was a lot more different. Like the people that they first brought in, I'm really glad they got rid of. There's only like one person on season two that I felt like she was fire, and that was the girl. I think they did the Letterman jackets. Her name started with a D. She had like the green jacket, like green little outfit and whatnot. I feel like she she had some crazy stuff, some crazy pieces. If she could have got a chance to, you know what I'm saying, keep going, she would have um, definitely maybe won it. But yeah, season two started out good. I like the um, the offset one that he did with his kids. That jacket that um, Con and um, Con and Knox, Con and Knox did. Oh my good bro, that was the craziest jacket I've ever seen. I seen that jacket myself and I'm like, bro, I'd wear that. Like, bro, I started looking on StockX, said that they tried to drop it, but obviously they didn't because, you know, it was for all sale. I was kind of mad about that one. Like, I wanted that jacket. Like, that jacket's crazy. I need that jacket. I need that jacket. But, um, that was cool. Then I think they had Khaled too, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, Khaled pulled up. That was cool. He was doing this little shit. Uh, season two was cool. Try to think who else. You know, they had the regular like Bobby Hundreds. He pulled up a couple times. They had the dude who owned Rude on the season finale. I'm just trying to knock everything out before we just hit right to the season finale. Even though, all right, we just gonna get right to it anyway. So season finale. Personally, I feel like. I feel like my girl Knox got robbed, man. I feel like she should have won. Um, personally, I, I feel like she should have won. I, I don't know. Like the stuff that, what was his name? Ah, what was his name? Blah, blah. His name started with a B. Y'all know the, the guy who actually won. I'm sorry for my study name. I don't even think he going to watch this anyway. Ain't nobody going to watch this. Probably like 10 people. But um, yeah. He was Barth, Barth, I think his name was Barth, him, like, the stuff that he wore, I feel like it wasn't really, like, streetwear, I feel like, like, no, and that's no, bro, this is, see, like, ain't nobody gonna watch this anyway, so I can say it, I feel like his stuff was, like, you know what I'm saying, the stuff that you see, and, like, it's not, no, I'm not gonna say that, that's, 
I just went weird. Like the hoodie, the hoodie that they was talking about. Like I don't know what they was like. Me personally, I would not wear that. It's, it's way too much, bro. It's just way too much going on with that hoodie, bro. I don't know. I don't like being that loud personally. Like, but then again, that's just me, my personality, and just like some of his stuff. And I could have sworn like. Like two of the light blue joints, they told him to scrap. Like the guy, what was his name? The big designer with the braids, Ty something. He, um, I think he told him to take those out, but he didn't. Like I don't know. I feel like, like I feel like Knox should have won. Like I'm, I was sitting there watching, and I'm like, they about to give it to Knox, either Knox or Nigel or Khan. I ain't gonna lie. I thought one of them was gonna win it. I didn't think what's his name was going to win it because it's street wear. Like, and I felt like bar stuff was more like high fashion. Like, like it felt like a runway type, John. Like, high, high in clothing. It didn't feel like street wear to me personally. And that's why I think, honestly, Khan should, I mean, um, Knox should have won that. Knox should have won that. Like, that was my, my winner. And if not her, then obviously Khan. But I did not think Barth was going to win that personally. And shout out to Barth too, because that's still a huge. You know what I'm saying you can't. It's already over. It's over. They can't go back and say, "Oh, we gonna take that back." You know what I'm saying? He won already. You know what I'm saying? Congrats to him. That's major. That me personally, my opinion, I feel like Knox should have took that home. Um, let me make sure I'm saying her name right, because you know what I'm saying. I just want to make sure. I don't want to sound stupid. Oh yeah, 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 Knox. I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, I feel like she should have won that though, man. Um, I really liked her pieces. And that drawing that she made to like close it out, the little set, that was crazy. So, uh, yeah. This really, I'm going to tap into their clothes because I know they got some websites. So, I'm definitely going to tap in and support. Like, I definitely, I told y'all, Grizz is in the clothes and I told y'all we slimming down. So, I'm really just starting to explore with clothes and just with fashion and shit. Like, and just stuff that I like. If it looked nice, I want it. So, I was on uh, her website. And I was on um, uh, Khan's website too. Uh, Khan, I'm gonna get probably get some like sweatpants stuff off his. Hers, I think she got like um. There's this flannel shirt, this uh, flannel little shirt that I'm gonna grab. It's definitely crazy. I think it's black, but um, I'm gonna definitely support because like this was fire and it definitely opened my eyes to <clears throat> like other stuff. Like like I'm not saying I'm I'm gonna be a designer, but you just you never know what to expect now because. I don't know if I want to add something else onto my palette that I'm still adding on to, but I definitely always had a love for clothes. And like I told you, I used to sew and shit like that. So I don't know, man. And I definitely like got merch for my channel and I definitely want it to be the best merch ever. Like as far as quality, look, feel, I want people to actually want to spend their money on it and actually be something that they wear outside of just being a collectible. So... Um, this show really got me thinking, but that's my that's my, that's my thoughts on season one and two. Uh, once again, shout out to Sasha Land. She told me to tag her when I do this. I don't know if this is satisfactory or not. You let me know um, if you watch it, but I appreciate everybody who tapped and watched. Then, um, let's help, man. The hype season three. Let's see, let's see what they do then, because obviously it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So, um, I'm, I'm excited because... This was fire. And this is honestly my favorite show right now. Like, this was cool. This was definitely the challenges and just everything. Like, seeing how they set up and everything. This was fire. Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate y'all tapping in if you did. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the cave. We out of here.